statue collector Lou here guys with another statue pick up and review this time it is the awesome magic comma cat from sideshow collectibles now she is number 152 of 500 so a very low uh, yes so I think that's really awesome uh, I love small runs on statues and I've been after this one for a long time and I want to thank uh, two guys, Like and Smoke, for the great deal on this piece. And also Brian, Too Many Figures, for setting it up for me. So I finally got her in my collection. I'm super happy. She uh, stands approximately 17 to 18 inches. Um, beautiful base. You see the flames and the demon hands coming up as they're trying to pull her down to hell and uh, for those of you who read comics you know eventually she becomes Dark Child after this. Now if you had the exclusive it also came with the Dark Child head but I'm more interested in magic and not so much Dark Child that's why if I want Dark Child I would just bought that piece. So Really love how it came out. Uh, love the sword, and they put the power like surging through it. Uh, beautiful sculpt. Uh, her body looks amazing. The detail in the hand, you can see it pulling on the leg as it would be in real life. This is again sideshow back uh, in the early days when they really did a lot of great work. And put a lot of detail and effort into this stuff. The beautiful way the hair is flowing. The great uh, detail on the gauntlet on her hand. And I'll give you a pan around of this great piece. A uh, beautiful face. Again, the body's amazing. Uh, ample breasts. Uh, great ass. Another staple of sideshow female pieces. And uh, like I said, I love the detail in the sword, and especially so on the leg with the pulling of it. Uh, it just adds uh, a great amount of detail to the piece. Spot on paint job, uh, very fine with the brush, you know, or the spray or whatever they use. Uh, there's no real leaking of anywhere of paint. Uh, and again, the clear resin that was used in the fire, clear with the, the red tint, and the way they did the flames, it just looks amazing. Uh, they did this detail, kind of like they did on the Vader piece with the black, uh, using a reddish-brownish tint for because the flames would be reflecting off of the black. And it really, uh, the, the attention to detail in this piece is just amazing. Uh, I've been wanting her forever, and I finally have her in the collection. And she's going to look great at home, uh, sitting next to Colossus. That was the main reason I got her. Besides it being a beautiful piece, I wanted to put her next to Colossus. So, uh, I rated... Uh, a 9 out of 10. Um, again, I, I really love this piece and um, I highly recommend it. So, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, do you like Sideshow's Comic Cats? Are you only a PF guy? Um, uh, again, do you love the cloth more or the fully sculpted outfits? And, uh, you know, I love your feedback. I love getting, hearing what you guys think. And it's what makes everything in this community great. The fact that we can talk to each other and give our opinions on everything. So, again, I hope you enjoyed. This is Hero Statue Collector Lou out. Peace! Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook at Heroic Sculptures and Twitter at Heroic Sculpture.